All right, welcome back everybody to the channel. As you can tell, we're playing some of the original Ghost Recon because I wanted to do a video talking about the Ghost Recon series as a whole, where I want to see it go. But I realized that I, while playing games like SOCOM and, and such, I started at Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter 2 on the console. I never actually got to play this one. And after doing the tutorial, I'm glad I came back because there are some mechanics that I had no idea were in this series. and. I would love to see them moving forwards. So we're going to go ahead and play through this so I can gain that experience. I figured you guys might want to come along for the ride because it's actually pretty cool. This game plays kind of like Arma, but like way less janky. <laughs> In any case, we're going to our objectives here. If you've ever played one of these games before, you recognize a screen like this. You already know there is a guy talking through these paragraphs of dialogue debriefing you. We're just not going to worry about it. That's a lot of talking <laughs> to give you the short of it. We click on the command map here, and our objectives are going to be to clear out this enemy camp. Then we're going to move to secure this cave. And then we have this optional objective here to kill or capture this Papa Shavili guy. He's like a rebel officer inside the cave. So we'll try and capture him, but I'm not really sure how well it's going to go. After that, all we got to do is return to our insertion point and pull out. So it seems like a short and sweet mission, pretty neat looking terrain. And we're going to go ahead and learn the ropes here on how to control our squad. So let's jump into it. Alrighty. Uh, definitely an old game. You know, these graphics are familiar, but haven't seen them in a long time. Let's take a look here. So one of the main mechanics in this game is that you got to control your squad. And what we can do here is hit left control and pull apart seams. We can see, you know, who's alive, who's got what kind of ammo and such. If we come over to this way, got our attack map and we'll be able to control our squads from there what we're actually going to do real quick though is put everybody on hold because i don't want them running off as soon as i get orders holding, holding also want them all to be you know out of sight, out of sight. Out of sight. i guess it's called recon but hold fire is basically what we're talking um charlie team is going to be our sniper so we can click this tab up here and we can specifically move charlie team uh, just judging by the terrain we're standing on, I'm going to guess that this area of the map is going to be higher ground. And I see a choke point here, so my bet would be to move our sniper up here. And then this cone right here that I'm dragging is going to be his field of fire. So if he comes into contact, this is where he's going to cover. And if I tell him to suppressive fire, that's what he's going to cover. It's a very neat mechanic. Come over to Bravo team, that's going to be our support team. I'll have them go here, down here covered this angle and I'm guessing these dark splotches they have to be trees I'm sure an alpha team will stick with us as team leader we'll have our two guys on us we will go ahead and send the sniper out first and let him do a little reconnaissance we'll have on our way we'll get a head start then we'll send Bravo team in fact what team's a little bit far behind so we'll go ahead and move them out now on our way all right Bravo team's still moving into position but one thing that is really cool is you can actually take over your squad mates. So if I go ahead and click over here on soldiers, if I just click on the sniper, yep, I can swap over to him and he will, well, I'll be taking control. I can still give orders as the sniper, but particularly why you would want to do this is because the sniper has, you know, very nice range in terms of his optic and you can kind of scout ahead with him. And I had noticed that there's a cliff and I wanted to check it out. I apologize. Still figuring out the controls a little bit. You try and hit control to crouch, and it's like, it's just not how it works. Not seeing any snipers up here. It's okay. And as sniper, we're going to move slightly forwards. And this is kind of just the way that I think I'm going to prefer to play, is to just move the sniper a little bit up. That cliff is definitely clear. So we'll keep moving up. It's been quiet this whole time. I just don't want to walk into an ambush, because it is still hard to see. Well, hang on. We're here. I see sandbags and a camo net, but I can't quite make out any enemies. Okay, so we're going to take things low and slow from here. Let's go ahead and move our teams up. Take a look at the map, make sure where our sniper is. I'm going to move him up to this line of sight. Keep everybody on quiet. Let's get back over to our SL. We're gone. Like we're moving. Our little team's gonna move up. Base of 
trying to pick out where on the map that that emplacement would have been. I'm gonna take a little bit of a risk here and move Bravo team out from cover. We're gonna be in the middle of that field, and Alpha team's gonna be on me. We're gonna be following the sniper. Okay, we're coming up on the sniper now. This is definitely a great ridge to engage from. I wish I could get eyes on Bravo team. Make it a little easier to tell where exactly they are. They should be on the other side of this tree line. Still can't make any contacts out over there. Probably swap back over to Sniper. If there's anyone there, they'll likely take the shot. Not really sure. See, this is the hard part, is I don't know what I'm looking for. Well, now I do. Now, one guy with an AK taking cover, but I'm not sure he sees anything. He's down. Goodbye. Make sure he doesn't have any friends. Probably what we'll do is send in Bravo team to move up, and we'll move Alpha team up to this rock here so they can provide cover. Orders received. Send them in. On our way, our way. Kill confirmed. Somebody came Jesus down from the three. bushes while we we're giving orders. Let's see if we can spot Bravo team just to make sure they're moving in the right position. That bunker's not marked on the map, so you kind of just have to guesstimate where exactly you're sending them. Okay, looks like they're just shy of the bunker, but that, that's good. They can get eyes on. Looks like there's a valley going to be over there. Let's go ahead and get back on Alpha. Well, looks like they Probably took down another in. guy. Got to keep moving forwards here. Is he in that bush? Okay, Bravo's hiding in a bush. That's fine. <laughs> All right, went ahead and got the sniper up here. We're just going to use him to glass the cliff and immediately spot what I was exactly afraid of, was which a guy that was going to catch us. So just to make sure there's nobody else, but I don't think he sees us anyways. Goodbye. Yeah, he's down. Okay. <laughs> and I I'm glad I'm taking this cautiously because I can see that there is definitely a lot of traps. We're going to go ahead and load this guy back up. That's crazy. All right, just because there's not a lot of cover up here, instead of moving the sniper up first, what we're going to do is move our support team and our assault team up. I want to say at the same time, do like a bounding watch, but we'll go ahead and move them first and then quickly start moving Bravo. It's going to be a little difficult to do at once, but I think that's how we want to tackle this valley. And we'll use the trees as cover. Hopefully that's good cover. I'm, I'm not really sure how much it's going to block, but there's just nothing out in this field to help us. So the plan basically is going to be move Alpha Team up to this tree line on the right because it's closer. And once they're in position, we're going to move Bravo to the one to the left there. Um, we're here. Put them on hold. Holding position. Alpha Team's got their orders. Bravo is going to be moving. Looks like there's a little hill right here. And covering this direction. And I'll be watching their back area. Hopefully there's nothing there. Let's go ahead and move Alpha up first. There are definitely some awesome mechanics in this game, especially for something that, I mean, it's obviously got to be pretty dang old. I'm guessing this is around 1998 that this came out. But, seeing anything over this hill, this is definitely just going to be a hard point to move up because of the way that it's, you know, it's a hill. You don't know what's on the other side. So, what we're going to do is move Bravo up to us. And they're very slow when you set them to recon, is what I'm realizing, so we're going to take them off the recon, just for a moment. Got so I want these guys to move up, <laughs> and not at a snail's pace. I mean, it's relatively safe right now. But... Not really seeing much. But because I don't want them to stop in this open field, what we're going to do... We're going to have Bravo peel off to the right, and get ready just in case there's any fire, and then we can cover this big open area. So we're gonna do have them come up here. Put them on hold real quick. Full throttle. Holding position. I move up like this. And we're gonna move up literally just up over the hill. It looks like we're gonna have to 
avenues of attack, just judging by what I'm seeing right here, as well as on the map. We've got an opening here on the left, and you can just kind of barely make it out, but that's not a rock, and everything looks like a polygon, but that's actually a tent. You can see the ropes coming off the side. So what I'm thinking is we're going to move the salt team into this open valley and use that rock off to the left or this rock facing, depending on what I can see, as cover. And we'll move the support team around to the uh, side here. Definitely seems like there's a second opening. The sniper will likely cover the assault team, just because the line of sight looks better for him. Um, over there, I'm seeing there's a lot of rocks, so I'm not really sure how good it's going to be. But we'll move up Bravo team ourselves and, and take a look. Okay, I definitely see some cover. I wouldn't really put my sniper up on top of one of these hills, though. That seems like a bad idea. <laughs> it seems like a good way to get shot immediately. I would like to take everybody home here. It seems like you got a lot of extra squad mates too that you can pick. I don't know if I could have expanded my squad myself and just take like a whole 12 man team. It would have been kind of cool, but I think it's best I just learn with a small team first before I'm trying to manage four different squads. Although that would be fun. Yeah, just not seeing anything. I think that's relatively safe for Bravo, but they're going to be right up on that camp. So go ahead and move them into position. All right, everyone's in position. Went ahead and mocked up a plan. It's not foolproof. Uh, the line of sights aren't exactly ideal, but Bravo team does have a good position. So as a support team, they should be able to catch these guys off guard. The main assault team, they're gonna be moving through the valley, as we said. Uh, if the enemies start coming around these tents, they'll be able to pick them off. The sniper's also gonna be covering their position. I'm hoping that this cone isn't representative of his actual engagement distance. I'm assuming he can actually hit things farther out because they did spot an enemy right around here in the center of the camp. And Bravo team is going to be set to suppress. We're going to move them up onto that little ledge so they can see directly down into the center of the camp and just hit everything with that saw. Um, as far as who we're going to control, I believe we're going to take control of Alpha team and let Bravo give the suppressive fire. I think that might be our best option here because Alpha team does not have a great um, position to move to. Let's go ahead and kick it off. We'll have Alpha Team move first, and then I'm going to move Bravo up. Yes. When I am in a comfortable position, because they're going to get to their uh, little setup very fast. Okay, just want to make sure it's tilde key to change your weapon, and we got enemies right there. So they're going to get it too. Hopefully, I can get the distance right. I, you know, haven't had much practice, just a little bit in the tutorial. Go ahead and get Bravo to move to their position. Roger. As soon as they say enemy sighted. Oh, or I hear your guns start flying. Don't see we're a little far over. That's okay. Start moving up. Let's get another tube in. There's more enemies in the camp. Just gotta check our right here. Goodbye. Goodbye. Excellent shot. I think our sniper might have taken that guy out in the back, but I'm not sure. Up slow here. Somebody see someone. Kill confirmed. Sounds like Bravo just saved our ass. We're here. Objective complete. Okay, so I think we're clear then. The hell did they kill? They're pouring out from the tents. I am so glad I set up that sniper in the Overwatch. Man, that was textbook. That's fan fucking tastic. It did a great job. These guys are actually smooth shots. You know, I wasn't sure they were going to be super accurate, but uh, they, they definitely are effective AI teammates. And it looks like we got... I don't know what this is. I can interact with, maybe? Well, we'll check the camp. I'll let you know if I find anything. Alright, the camp looks clear. Everything seems okay. So we can go ahead and move on here. And the cave, just looking at the tack map a minute ago, is actually up on that cliff that we were scouting previously. So we are going to be moving that way. Put a fresh magazine in RM16. And I think everyone's good to rock and roll, man. That was that was a really good assault. You know, a lot of times, you don't know if your teammates are going to be efficient. Uh, you know, you don't know how good they're going to be. 
but I can tell you right now, these guys are straight shots. <laughs> Alright, we got into our positions. Alpha team is at the front of the line, and there's nothing in front of us. We've already looked over it, but I'm going to send our sniper ahead, and I want him to look towards where I believe we're going to get line of sight of the cave, or at least the area in front of it. Because I think, like I said, typically I like to send in the sniper. He's got that better magnification. He can see a little bit farther. All right, everyone's up here. Let's go ahead and move Bravo team down into this valley. Moving out. Just in case any enemies come pouring out of that cave. I have no idea what's out here. I just don't have line of sight of anything. I was scouting a little more with the sniper while I waited, but I just don't see crap. So we're gonna have to move our guys up and take a chance. Let Alpha go up since we got three dudes. Be a little bit better, a little bit safer. And we are playing on the, I guess what there's like easy, easy, normal, and hard. We're playing on veteran, which is like the normal difficulty. Is an enemy right there? Goodbye. I don't know if he saw us, but I wasn't willing to take that chance, so take him out immediately. I see the cave entrance on the right. Okay, let's let's get our team back. I don't want him standing right there. Let's get Bravo to move around here. I see two entrances to the cave, so have them cover that one. I'm just gonna peek again, make sure no one's coming out. We're here. Okay, let's move up. Deez history. Wow. Been actually expecting to run out of the cave. Teammates can cover this door. Let's get Bravo up here. Okay. The uh, Charlie. Get him. Moving out. Just, well, just in case. A little nervous. Not gonna lie to you. Okay. These guys will cover the cave real quick. You need to make an assault plan. I want to hit both sides at the same time. Dangerous on the crossfire, but it's fine. We're going to have to do it. Um, let's get these guys on assault. We're not going to take point as yes, SL. We'll send in our teammates first. Let's get these guys. Holding. Holding position. Robo, I need you to go here. And I need you to take out anything inside that cave. Alpha team's gonna be doing the same thing. Yeah. Like we have to do that. Either way, they'll shoot if they see something. Alright. This is a tricky part. We don't have any frag grenades or no flashbangs, so I have no idea how we're gonna capture this guy. They did say that the enemies would surrender if we take out everyone in the cave, but if the enemies are next to him, <laughs> I'm not sacrificing my guys to bring home a piece of shit, you know what I'm saying? Since we're closer, we're going to send uh, not Alpha Team at first. My apologies. Moving out. Just confuse my squad mates. <laughs> we'll send in Bravo Team first. Got it. Okay. Let's go. We're gone. We're here. Let's see if we can peek this corner. I see legs. Kill confirmed. Come on, but I hear more. Don't see anything. I don't even see Bravo team. I know they didn't fire or anything. The guy to the right. I know I heard somebody. I hate to waste the time checking back Following here. Your lead. Bravo team. They need to move up. Let's just not worry about them. We'll have to do it ourselves. I don't know if they can get in here. Oh. Oh. Goodbye. <laughs> this is way too close, man. We've arrived. At least these guys aren't super efficient enemies. Ah. Goodbye. Ah, that's okay. I guess it was wasn't so much optional on the capture part, but. I'm gonna be honest, I couldn't identify my oh. Lost a man. Oh no. We're pinned down. Oh man. They want to 
want to lose anybody. Damn. That guy was certainly more efficient. Um, well, we don't want to funnel through the same door, but he is covering this one. Got your back. I don't care. Damn. Scratch another one. Oh, and he was the last guy, too. Damn. We were close. Lost a guy on the last enemy. Oh, I can't believe that. That sucks, man. Well. Hang on. Got gunfire out front. We're pinned down. Let's get Bravo team out there. Understood. Understood. Roger that. Wee. I'm gonna get these guys orders. We're pinned down. He's doing work. The hell he's firing at. Kill confirmed. Enemy down. We got enemies coming up the cliff. Alright, let's move left here. He's definitely I'm so glad I set this guy aside. We've arrived. Okay. Just see an enemy peek his head right there. I take control of this sniper. Yeah, there's definitely one more. I hear something. Thank God. It's Enemy down. There. Okay, we got one more over there. We got one shot. They're close. Kill confirmed. Wow. Um. I don't know who else is hiding back there, so we're gonna move Bravo team around. up here. Check. Alpha team can move. Right here. In the way. Way. It's an unexpected counterattack. <laughs> Seriously can't believe that that worked out. I'm surprised the sniper's alive because I didn't really put him in, in a good spot. I only just put him there to have him there just in case. But he was doing absolute work. So we have one casualty so far. I'm not really looking to get any others. I want to say we should move through previously cleared territory, but I don't know if our teammates can go over this cliff. So we're going to go around, and then we're going to double back through this valley, back down that long uh, ramp, and then go back around. We're just moving up. Looks like we got guys in this valley, so we're going to do them a little favor. That's, that's not what I meant to do. <laughs> Enemy <laughs> down. God dang it. That was not what I meant to do. I meant to We're shoot Tilda down. and I hit Z instead of Tilda. Because Tilda is to change. Okay, we don't want to lose this guy. He's not very accurate. I right, took gave me a gunner, looks like. Oh man. I can't believe my stupidity with the controls. Maybe lose another guy. <laughs> Another one. Yeah, definitely not a fan of this saw. That thing is inaccurate as hell. Damn. What a horrible way to lose a guy. That sucks. All right. Oh. On your tail. Got movement pretty freaking far. Put a tube out there. Okay. Yeah, we're definitely gonna be more cautious. Definitely. Uh, Yes, sir. Yes. Orders received. Get everyone on suppress. I think that might be better. Weapons free. Fire at will. God, man, I can't believe I... can't believe I shit the bed like that. <laughs> I am so... disappointed in myself. I'm not gonna lie, if I quick saved that straight up, would I would have reloaded that. I would have been so upset. <laughs> that, that is not below me. But... Unfortunately, I don't know what the quick save button is, so... <laughs> that shit ain't happening. There are those enemies right there. I'm gonna take them out with our sniper. He's history. I'm taking cover. He's, He's history. Okay, good to know that this isn't like pinpoint accurate. I I wasn't really sure. 
but I think that kind of confirms it. Thankfully, they got these sandbags up here, so we got good cover. Oh, just took over Bravo team to move up, and it looks like we had a contact dead ahead of us. So what we're going to do, honestly, just take him out from here. Hard to see the cursor. He's down. Another kill. Let's go. I'm glad I swapped the Bravo team because I didn't see him. They didn't call him out, and they're going to be real with you. I was getting pretty confident there wasn't anything out here. Because up to this point, there was nothing. We're going to keep moving. The sniper is in the middle. You know, I was kind of moved forward, and like I said, I got pretty confident there was nothing. Now, not so much. And uh, Alpha Guy, he's, he's up on the high ground, so he can shoot down and give a little bit of cover. Enemy down. <laughs> oh, man. Saw Gunner starts ripping off like that. That was scary. I did not want to lose another guy. Looks like we're good, though. I guess that was, it just took us straight to extraction. We weren't even, we still had a little bit to go, but I think we're good. Well, uh, I have terrible news. After doing that entire mission and completing the last objective, it would appear that the game shit the bed harder than I did and crashed. And I find that to be somewhat hilarious. I have no idea if there's an ending cutscene. I'm honestly going to go look it up and find out real quick and if there is i will go ahead and play through the entire mission uh and go ahead and get the cutscene for you guys hopefully it doesn't crash again i'm guessing it's because i'm recording though i don't think it's the game's fault i wouldn't really worry about it but i was just i was so excited to get out of there and then i'm like why is my desktop showing that's that's not supposed to be showing up where'd my uh, ghost recon client go <laughs> but in any case i'll see if i can find it if not i'll let you guys know all right, went ahead and checked it out with the whole after screen thing. And it's just a stat screen. It has some nice music, but we'll have to live without it. Like I said, just a stat screen kind of tells you how many shots you fired, your accuracy, uh, how many guys you lost. Two, unfortunately. One, it, my own fault, definitely. I mean, I literally shot the commander and then immediately died. <laughs> and then the second one, I shit the bed. But nonetheless, I still had a lot of fun. And hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I definitely plan on going back and beating this mission, though, so that I can progress the campaign. Whether or not I play it on the channel, I think is up to you guys. So let me know down in the comments what you think if you want to see me play some more. Because I got to tell you, it's actually a lot of fun. It's like playing Arma 3, but without the jank. Yeah, I mean, it's literally the best way I could describe it. <laughs> you know, you don't have your AI teammates not listening to you. These guys are efficient and accurate. The enemies go down. Everybody's lethal. There's no weird hitting each other 20 times no one dying C set looking at you so i gotta say definitely really cool and it definitely it gives me an idea um what if i remade a ghost recon style mission in arma that might be something we have to do anyways guys thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one be sure to let me know if you want to see more take care